Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called amyl nitrite, and it falls under the class of antidote. It's actually the first step of a three-step antidote system. Its mechanism of action is that it converts hemoglobin to methemoglobin. This chemically combines with the cyanide and prevents the toxic effects. Your indications are going to be cyanide poisoning, and your contraindications in the EMS setting are none. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure you abide by your protocol and stay within your scope of practice. The dose is one to two amps, crushed and inhaled for 30 seconds. Then give continuous oxygen for 60 seconds until the sodium nitrite is given, or you can also administer for 30 to 60 seconds every five minutes until the patient regains their consciousness. Pediatric is the same dosage. Adverse reactions of amyl nitrite can include increased ICP, dizziness, headache, weakness, shortness of breath, Cyanosis, tachycardia, orthostatic hypotension, and syncope. Drug interactions, it does potentiate hypotensive effects of antihypertensives and other CNS depressants. It is typically supplied in a 0.3 milliliter ampule for inhalation. Okay, a few side notes about amyl nitrite. It, just like I said earlier, this is the first step of a three-step treatment for cyanide poisoning. The steps include amyl nitrite, sodium nitrite, and sodium thiosulfate. The patient should stay in in the supine position or at least have them in the seated position just to avoid any syncope because of hypotension. The onset just depends. It can be anywhere between 30 seconds to 5 minutes. Use with caution in patients that you suspect have increased ICP because it is one of the adverse reactions of it. Keep away from heat or flame because it is highly flammable. The most common cyanide antidote that you will see on the ambulance is typically cyanokit or hydroxocobalamin. And and that's about all I have for amyl nitrite. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational and never meant to be used as a replacement for professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!